Hi, everybody, and welcome to Ask My Tablet, the show where you send in the questions and I ask my tablet. It's real simple. So if you have any questions, just leave them in the comments. And you can leave them in the comments of any video. I'll, I see all my comments. And uh, if you have questions you think of later or something, or you can put them on this video. But uh, all the questions come from you all. Or sometimes Joy and Logan give me some. So let's get started, everybody. These first ones are from Vicky G. Let me make sure this thing's turned up. Okay. Okay. Alexa, what president signed the law making Martin Luther King Jr. Day a national holiday? Here's something I found on the web. According to wikipedia.org, the United States federal statute honoring Martin Luther King Jr. and his work in the civil rights movement with a federal holiday was enacted by the 98th United States Congress and signed into law by President Ronald Reagan on November 2, 1983, creating Martin Luther King Jr. That's great. Okay. What turtle? A oh, rare. Okay. Alexa. What turtle is the rarest turtle in the world? Here's something I found from Guinness World Records. The world's rarest species of turtle is the Yangtze giant softshell turtle Rafe de Swinhoe, which was formerly native to the Yangtze River and elsewhere in China, as well as Vietnam, but today is represented by only three living specimens. Wow. A fourth died in January 2016 in Dong Mo Lake Sun Tea, a large lake in Hanoi, Vietnam. One of these inhabits a lake in northern Vietnam, where it was found in 2008. The other two, one of each sex, are in captivity in China's Suzhou Zoo. Not surprisingly, it is categorized as critically endangered by the Yukon. Suzhou Zoo's fertile, 80 odd year old female, the last known living female specimen of this species, was brought there from Changsha Zoo in 2008 in a move carefully coordinated by New York's Wildlife Conservation Society and the Turtle Survival Alliance in order to mate with Suzhou Zhu's 100-year-old male. Wow. She gave us plenty of information on that one. Sometimes she doesn't say very much. Okay. Alexa, what century did Rembrandt paint in? Here's something I found on the web. According to thequinus.com, Rembrandt was a Dutch Baroque painter and etcher during the early half of the 17th century. 17th okay here's some from california karen 789 alexa when did american greetings start making cards here's something i found on the web according to newyorkessays.com the american greeting card industry has been in existence since the late 1800s and has evolved into a highly profitable sector of the retail sales world consisting of countless competitors both big and small that's just saying it didn't speak about the company let me see alexa when did the greeting card company american greetings open for business American Greetings on American Drive in Bardstown is currently closed, but will be open tomorrow from 8 a.m. to 4 p.m. I don't think I'm going to get it out of it, <coughs> but we know they're closed. <coughs> Alexa, when was the typewriter invented? The first commercially successful typewriter was invented in 1868 by Christopher Latham Scholes, Frank Haven Hall, Carlos Glidden and Samuel W. Sole in Milwaukee, Wisconsin. Okie dokie. And Alexa, who invented mustard? Archaeological excavations in the Indus Valley have revealed that mustard was cultivated there. That civilization existed until about 1850 BC. The Romans were probably the first to experiment with the preparation of mustard as a condiment. They mixed unfermented grape juice with ground mustard seeds to make burning must, mustam ardens, hence mustard. Did that mm. answer your question? Yes. Thanks for your feedback. And 
This shows a little thing of mustard. Okay, here's some from YC's Cooking and Baking. Or I've got YC's Cook, YC Cooks and Bakes. Did I get it wrong? <laughs> I think it's Cooking and Baking. How about uh, Alexa? Does the human heart skip a beat when you sneeze? Here's something I found on the web. According to Fodco.com, a sneeze does not temporarily stop your heart or cause it to skip a beat. Good. Alexa, how much sugar does the average American consume in one year? According to an Alexa Answers contributor, the average American consumes 17 teaspoons, 71.14 grams, every day. That translates into about 57 pounds of added sugar consumed each year per person. Wow. That seems like a lot. Okay, let's see. She might get confused here. We'll try this, though. Alexa, if grape juice is made from grapes and not raisins, shouldn't juice from plums be called plum juice and not prune juice? Sorry. I don't have an answer for that. <laughs> I figured that. It makes sense, though. Okay. Here's one from Red Road Homestead, everyone. Alexa, how old is the oldest pyramid? I know about one pyramid with the youngest date founded, the Pyramid of Austerlitz in 1804. What? Let's say when was the first pyramid built. Alexa? When was the first pyramid built? Here's something I found on the web. According to thebiggest.net, the oldest known pyramid in Egypt was built around 2630 BC at Saqqara for the third dynasty's King Djoser. Whoa. That's a long time ago. Here's some from Kim from Kim Loves Artie. I'll check out her channel too and Red Road Homestead also and YC Cooking and Baking in California. 789. Here we go. Alexa, what does AM and FM mean on the radio? Here's something I found on the web. According to Funderground.com, AM means amplitude modulation, FM means frequency modulation. Hmm, okay, I didn't know that. I was wondering about that. That's that's interesting. Okay, and Alexa, what type of Christmas tree was first displayed at the White House? According to an Alexa Answers contributor, the first White House Christmas tree, pre-electricity, was decorated with candles and toys and placed in President Benjamin Harrison's living quarters. Hmm. This is when Benjamin Harrison was president and they weren't wanting electricity yet, so has to be, you know... I guess pre-1900, something more. She didn't really say, though, the, a specific date. Okay. How about... Alexa, which president banned Christmas trees at the White House? Here's something I found on the web. According to quickanddirtytips.com, in the early 1900s, President Theodore Roosevelt banned Christmas trees in the White House because he considered cutting down a tree every year to be at odds with his conservationist efforts. Well, I guarantee you there was a lot more trees back then probably than there is now, but, you know, I mean, I guess, you know, looks like he could have had a Christmas tree. But <laughs> I'm sure his uh, children or whatever were probably like, what? Yeah. Okay. Uh, okay, here we go. Well, he could have brought a live tree in, a smaller one, and then put it, planted it out in the White House lawn after that. That's what they should have done. If I'd been there, that's what I'd have said would be a good idea. You know. Okay. Alexa, how did Dr. Seuss come up with the story How the Grinch Stole Christmas? Here's something I found on the web. According to intellectualtakeout.org, 
perhaps drawing on Charles Dickens' portrait of Ebenezer Scrooge in A Christmas Carol. Seuss paints a creature who has been living in near-complete isolation for many years, in the Grinch's case, 53 years atop a lonely cliff overlooking the town. I didn't realize it was supposed to be 53 years that he'd been up there. Good grief. Okay. Alexa, who invented the English muffin? Here's something I found on the web. According to masterclass.com, the English muffin was invented in the 1880s by Samuel Bath Thomas, a British expat in New York City. Wow, that must be Thomas English muffins, you think? They are good. Wow, he cornered the market on it there, didn't he? Okay, Alexa, when was the first Christmas card sent? According to an Alexa Answers contributor, Sir Henry Cole sent the first Christmas card in 1843. Wow, it seemed like it had been a little longer ago. I mean, that's a long time, but... Okay. Okay, these are from Joy, my Joy. Uh, Alexa, how long has Tweetsie Railroad been in business? Here's something I found on the web. According to Tweetsie.com, since 1957, oh, Tweetsie know. Railroad has been creating memories and offering a family-friendly Wild West adventure. So you can, they, they come near here, and you can take a ride on it and everything. We've never done that, though, but I think that would be something great one day to do. Um, but I didn't realize it was since 1957. Wow, okay. Okay. Alexa? When did Disneyland open in California? Disneyland opened in 1967, making it 55 years old. Can't see it too good. We went to that one, and we've been to both of them. When I lived in California, we went to that one when I was young, really young. I don't know, seven, something like that. Okay. And Alexa... When did Disney World open in Florida? Walt Disney World opened in 1971, making it 51 years old. So that would be four years later. Wow. Okay. That's neat. All right. Uh, let's see if we can get her to tell us or sing us a song. Alexa, sing me a song. That was a good one today. And I've got some bobbleheads I need to get out for Christmas. That's right. And I don't know if these things even get enough light in here to light up when it's dark. Hmm. Okay. Uh, let's get her to tell us a joke or two. Alexa, tell me a joke. What did the popcorn say to the baby corn? You've got your mother's ears. Ah. <laughs> okay. Alexa, tell me a joke. What's the difference between a wizard and a spelling bee contestant? One conjures spells, and the other spells conjures. Ah, okay, that's good. All right, everybody, that's going to be it for Ask My Tablet. I hope you enjoyed it. I... I do it whenever I get enough so uh, questions, so get them questions in if you like the show, so we can do another one soon. Um, I like, I've like i always liked this show. I'm hoping that we'll get more uh, people watching it and everything, 
it's a good it's a good show it's funny and you you learn things it's just you never know what's going to happen on it so thanks for watching everybody i hope you enjoyed it and if you did i hope you'll press that like button also subscribe if you haven't already and hit that so you get all my videos as soon as they come out everybody have a great day and we'll see you later god bless